Just do this for him. For him. I give you all.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being more than enough. Thank you for being more than enough. We don't even have capacity enough to receive all of you. But thank you for being more than enough. We're so grateful. Thank you. This love is incredible. It's reckless. It's, it's indescribable. It's uncontainable. It's, it's overwhelming. It's a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for holding us together. Thank you. We give you all, God. We give you all. We promise to never hold anything back. All our lives, we live it to serve you. We live it in praise of your name. We give you all. All. There's nothing left. We give you everything. Because you are deserving. Yes, sir. And even so much more. Thank you. You are here and we know it. You are here and we know it. Yes, sir. We give you praise. What a privilege to be called your own. This is such an honor. This is such an honor. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. Praise God. Welcome in everyone. The Lord bless you. Glory to God. Amen and amen. God bless you. Welcome in. Welcome in is on your side weekend. The Lord is on your side. Hallelujah. The Lord is on your side i want to welcome everyone joining us hallelujah i want to welcome you if you're on youtube welcome if you're on facebook welcome the lord bless you in the name of jesus i want to appreciate you all in the name of jesus christ thank you for joining us today in the name of jesus i want you all to join me just to open this service in prayer just to appreciate god even as we start in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. We worship and honor you. We magnify your name. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your faithfulness. Father, we thank you for all that you've done in our lives. We thank you for your guidance and your protection and your provision. Thank you for another Saturday. Thank you for your grace, O oh God. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your provision. Father, we give you all the glory and honor in the name of Jesus. Thank you for today. Thank you for another day to be blessed by you in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you because I know that your presence is here. I thank you because I know that your right hand of power will be stretched out to your people today. I thank you because I know that the sick will be made well again. I thank you, Lord, because I know, oh God, that shackles will be broken off the neck of your people. I thank you, Lord, because for someone today is answered to their question in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, move, oh God, as never before. Let your presence be felt by your people. Stretch out your grace to them and bless your people even in this service, in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Once again, I want to thank everyone. Please, if you're here, I want you to do two things for me. First of all, like this broadcast, amen, and please share to someone share the link send the link to someone share it on your social media handles and let us bring 
some more people into the blessed of God today, even as we start service in the name of Jesus. The Lord has something great for us today. The Lord has something is going to teach us. Amen. As we appreciate God in thanksgiving today, as we thank him for the things he has done, the Lord is going to bless his people. Hallelujah. So I'm so excited, delighted to see all of you join us in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I can see Tuba chat there. God bless you, sir. I can see Sarah. I can see Ibamosa. I can see Obert. Praise God. I can see Daniel. I can see Ibamosa. I can see Destiny. Praise God for those on Facebook. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. I want to believe God for you today that today will be a day of testimony for you. Because today, God is going to meet you at the point of your needs in the name of Jesus. You will not go back the same. You are here to appreciate God. And God is going to show to you that is God indeed in the name of Jesus. So welcoming. And please be expectant. I want you to keep expectation in your heart. Because today, you will be blessed by God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, as we go on in this service, I want us to appreciate God and worship God because that's what we're here for. It's a Saturday and it's a time for us to appreciate our God. Hallelujah. So as we move on in this service, I want you to visualize what the Lord has done. I want you to think about those things that the Lord has done for you yesterday, two days ago, last week, last two weeks. Think about what the Lord has done and worship him. Even as we take this song of worship, I want you all to join in and appreciate God. When we come back from the worship, I'm going to share a quick word with you, something that God put in my heart to share with his people today. And I believe that this will be a blessing to you. So stay there. Don't forget, share this broadcast, like the broadcast, and let us worship God together with, Lord, with Lagos Metropolitan Gospel Choir. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, call that name Jesus, 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 Jesus. It's a marvelous name. It's a powerful name. Oh, somebody call that name Jesus. Oh, open up your mouth and speak in the language of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Somebody bless him Somebody worship Glorious and great, in you we are saved. The name of Jesus, higher than all the names, is the King of all kings. No other name like Him. The name of Jesus, higher than all the names, our friend Somebody call the name Jesus. Hey, sing it loud, say Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
miracle. Oh, that name is powerful. That name is healing. I said that name is deliverance. I say that name is deliverance. I say that name is deliverance. Hey, that name is freedom. Hey, that name is powerful. That name is salvation. That name heals cancer. It heals cancer. It heals disease. It heals sickness. Jesus, what a powerful name. Jesus, what a mighty name. What a miracle walking name. Hallelujah. The name Jesus. Father, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for what he came here on earth to do. We thank you, oh God. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for Jesus. Father, we thank you for Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for giving us Jesus. Thank you for giving us Jesus. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for redemption, O oh God. Thank you for translating us from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God, dear Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the translation, O oh God. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for counting us as people that will be called your own. We thank you, Lord, for considering us, even loving us while we were yet sinners. We thank you for finding us as worthy of your mercy and your grace. Father, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. We worship and adore you, for you alone art worthy to be praised, and there is none like unto thee there is none compared to you lord you are the great and mighty god thank you father thank you father we give you all the glory and honor we give you all the adoration you've been true and good to us father we thank you i thank you on behalf of everyone here today lord i thank you on behalf of their family members lord i thank you for the things that you're doing in their lives oh god thank you father thank you father you're worthy to be praised you're worthy to be praised there is none like you you're worthy to be praised you're worthy lord you're worthy to be praised you're worthy to be praised Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration, O oh God. Words are not enough, Lord, for us to appreciate you for your goodness. Words will fail us. We don't have enough capacity enough to thank you for the things that you're doing for us. Thank you for your faithfulness. Great is the faithfulness of our God. Lord, we thank you. We worship you. We honor you. We magnify your name. Our Lord be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. 
in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Once again, I want to thank everyone that are here. The Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus, be prepared for what the Lord has for you today. Amen. If you haven't shared this podcast, please go ahead and share. If you haven't liked this program yet, please go ahead and like the broadcast. There is that like button there. Go there, click on the like button if you haven't done so, and share with your friends, family, loved ones, and on your social media handles so that we can get more people into the blessed of God today. I'm so excited to see you all. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Listen, your being present here today is the faithfulness of God. It's a sign of God's faithfulness. It's a proof of God's love to you. Amen. Because every day that we see, we see the mercies of God. His mercies get renewed for us every day. Amen. So I believe that the mercy of God is what wakes us up in the morning. I believe is the mercy of God that helps us to sleep well and to wake up alive. Praise God. I believe is the mercy of God. It is not by our work. It is not by what we've calculated. It is not by what we've been able to do with our own strength. It is by the mercy of God. I believe it strongly that it is the mercy of God that has made us to see today. It is the mercy of God that has given us life. It is the mercy of God that has given us good health. It is the mercy of God that continues to provide on our table bread to eat and water to drink. I believe it is the mercy of God. It is not by our hard work. Hallelujah. It is not by our hard work. Praise God. It is not by power, neither is it by strength. It is by the grace of God. Hallelujah. And I just appreciate that grace of God. I just thank God for his grace that he continues to shower on us, that continue to share abroad onto us. So we are delighted. I'm excited for what the Lord has for his people. Amen. The Lord has started a good work. And the Bible says that what the Lord has started is able and faithful to complete. So I pray for you today. Whatsoever that God has started in your lives, God will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever that it is that you're still looking unto God to do, God will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever it is that you think is finished, God will restore in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever the devil has stolen from you, God will restore in the name of Jesus. Be it time, be it days, be it opportunities, be it business, be it career, be it health, God will restore back to you. In the name of Jesus. Today is your day of restoration. Be restored back to full health. Be restored back to time wasted. Be restored back to fruitfulness in business. Be restored back to fruitfulness in your career. Be restored back in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The place that you are, you will be valued. Praise God. There's a prayer we prayed today in our family prayer. And we prayed that prayer that you'll be valued at the place where you are. Amen. Wherever you show up, wherever you are, be valued in there. Praise God. Be valued. Be seen as someone that's making meaningful contribution. All your effort, the things you've done, your hard work must be seen. Hallelujah. They must be seen. You won't be looked at and people will look away from you. No, your hard work must be seen. Amen. The Bible said that will make your hair like that of a unicorn. The reason why scriptures say that is because you will be put at that place where everyone will see you. Because the end of the unicorn is the first thing you see even before you see the unicorn itself. It's so distinct. It's outstanding. It shoots up. Hallelujah. So the Bible is saying, when the Bible says that it's going to make your head like that of a unicorn, it's saying that it's going to make you outstanding. You will be like the star that shines in the sky. Hallelujah. You will be seen. 
nothing can deny your shyness. Praise God. Nothing can deny your shyness. You will be seen. You will shine bright. Hallelujah. You will shine bright to the world to see. That is your portion. That's why the Bible says that you will be the head and not the tail. You will be above only and not beneath. You will not be in the midst of mediocres. Hallelujah. God will so propel you to a place where people will like to reckon with you. That's why he said that your light will shine brighter and brighter. Let your light so shine. Hallelujah. There is the shyness. There is the shyness of your light that is breaking forth today. In the name of Jesus, even only you can believe it. The shyness of your light is breaking forth in the name of Jesus. I decree it one more time for everyone listening to me. The shyness of your light is breaking forth. It will shine forth and men will see it. Amen. The Bible said they will rush to the brightness of your rising. Hallelujah. They will rush to the brightness of your rising. Your light will shine and men will run it, bearing gifts. Praise God. Hallelujah. Men will run it, bearing gifts. The Bible says that the star shine, that the, 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 the men saw the star shine and they went in looking for Jesus. Hallelujah. The wise men looking for Jesus. And when they went looking for Jesus, they brought gift with them. Hallelujah. So when your light shine, and when men see your light, they must bear gift with them. So I pray for you today, everyone under the sound of my voice listening to me right now, that your light will so shine that we attract men with your gift to you in the name of Jesus. That prayer is for everyone that can hear me and that can believe God for a miracle. Your light is shining from today in the name of Jesus. And men will see your light and run into it and be a gift with them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise, 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 praise the Lord. Amen. Once again, I want to thank everyone that are here that's joined us. The Lord bless you. Don't forget, if you haven't liked the broadcast, please like the broadcast and share with someone. The Lord bless you as you're doing that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Last week, I, 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 I brought a word to us. Hallelujah. Only the strong. Praise God. Only the strong survives. Only the strong survives. And I told us last week that when I was preparing for that message, when God gave it to me, I think a day before, on Friday, last week, Friday, the Holy Spirit reminded me that there is something that I'm supposed to have said even before saying uh, the, 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 the part I shared last week, which is uh, only the strong, only the strong survive, praise the Lord. So there is a part before there, and that part is bearing the whole regalia, is bearing everything, the requirements you need for you to remain strong and to stand. Hallelujah. The Bible said, I haven't done all to stand. Stand. Therefore, so there are things that you must do before getting to that point of having done all to stand. Praise God. So that's what I'm going to bring to us today. Hallelujah. It is the armor, the armor that you need to bear in your body that will help you to stand. Hallelujah. The armor, the armor. So I'm going to read the word of God to us quickly. And we're just going to take this. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to read from Ephesians chapter 6. I'll read through from verse 10 to 20. Amen. So I want you to hang on in there and let us read the word of God. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the old armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wires of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having guarded your ways with truth, 
having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having showed your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fairy darts of the wicked one and take the element of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always in all prayers and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end all with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints and for me that utterance may be given to me that i may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which i am an ambassador in chains that in it i may speak boldly as i heard to speak the lord bless his word hallelujah Glory to God. So today I want to bring those things, those pieces of armor that we have in our armory that the Lord will help us with. Even to be that person that is able to stand, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Listen to this before I go on with this teaching today. God has made available for us a provision that informs us on how to live under his coverage. And that provision is in the armory that God has given us to access. The belt of truth, living without guilt and in truthfulness with all. The breastplate of righteousness, a standard of living that leaves no doubt of how much we know God. The feet featured with the gospel, a commission we all must abide in and do to obey the commandments of God and bring many into God's kingdom. The shields of faith, standing in the belief that we have a God who will not leave us nor forsake us. The helmet of salvation, a salvation given to us by the bleeding of blood on Calvary's cross. The sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God to control all situations that might arise in our lives. The word of God that brings all things under subjection and to the glory of God. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That is the full package of what the armor is. That, that video was done three years ago by one of my daughters. Amen. Uh, three years ago. Praise God. So it, it's a long time. That's the full package of what the armor is. Six of them. Hallelujah. Six pieces, six equipment in our armory that the Lord has given us access to so that we can be able to stand haven't done all to stand. Stand, therefore. Hallelujah. Haven't done all to stand. Stand, therefore. Praise God. So that short video there just summarized what the armor, the full armor is. Amen. And that's talk, it, it talked about what each piece of the armor represents and what they are meant for. Hallelujah. I will add, I will highly recommend you to, to go back to it and play it after the video. It's just like a minute, 58 seconds uh, video there. Amen. So please, it, it summarizes everything of what the armor of God is. The armor that the Lord has given to us. So we're going to start with the first one. Hallelujah. You know, last week we talked about um, uh, that the things of the spirit is meant for only the strong. And it is only the strong that survive. And there is no man that can freely and truly be strong until every part of their inner being become thoroughly equipped to stand in the place of authority. Hallelujah. We talked about that last week. So we need this armor to fortify ourselves. That is what it is meant for. God gave them to us. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul, through the leading of the Spirit of God, told the church in Ephesus what this armor represents and how to use them so that we can stand. Having done all to stand, stand. Therefore, hallelujah, the belt of truth. That's the first one. The belt of truth. The belt of truth. Hallelujah. The belt of truth. Praise God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9, uh, the Bible said something there that I want to read to us. It, it, the belt of truth is a belt of confidence. Amen. It, it gives confidence to us. The, the belt of truth, the 
the the the, the Roman soldiers, their belts goes down. The, the belts of the Roman soldier hold down a leather that, that is bound on them that protects the leg. Amen. That's what the belt does. So it protects their legs. It keeps your legs safe when they're going to war. Hallelujah. So it builds confidence. It builds the confidence of God in you. That's what the Bible is saying, that we should have the belt of truth. Hallelujah. The belt of truth. If you're truthful, it will build confidence, not only in you, also with God and with everyone that you relate with. That is why it is very important that we are truthful. Someone was said something. Someone said that if you don't have truth, if you lie, then you don't have a chance with the devil. Hallelujah. You don't have a chance with the devil if you lie. Because the Bible called devil the father of all lies. Praise the Lord. So you don't even have a chance. Hallelujah. You don't even have a chance. Praise God. First Corinthians chapter 1, I'll read verse 9. Hallelujah. The Bible said, God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of the Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. God is faithful and true. Amen. So if you exercise truth, if you exercise truth and you have the belt of truth tied around you, what Apostle Paul is saying is you will build confidence not only with yourself, you will build confidence with God and you will build confidence with everyone around you. There is no one that likes people that tells lies. No one. Hallelujah. That's why Bible describes God as a faithful and true God. Amen. As a faithful and true God. A faithful and true God, the belt of truth. The second one is the breastplate of righteousness. The breastplate of righteousness, the, the, the Roman best breastplate, breastplate that they put on extends to the back of a Roman soldier. So what the best breastplate does is to protect the Roman soldier. All his body, all his body is protected by the breastplate hallelujah so if you have the breastplate of righteousness it simply means that you are protected all around you're protected you are protected in your everyday living amen you're protected in your everyday living your body is guarded by righteousness so you can think like God. You can do the things that God will want you to do. You can act like God because your body is no more yours. Hallelujah. The Bible says that our life doesn't belong to us anymore when we accept Jesus to our life. That the life we live is no more ours. It is the life of God that we live. Amen. The breastplate of righteousness. Being able to represent God. Being able to show to God that you are righteous through Jesus. Hallelujah. The breastplate of righteousness. The Bible also went on and it said, being able to fit your feet with the readiness to declare the gospel of peace. Hallelujah. Being able to fit your feet with the readiness to declare the gospel of peace. Our feet must be ready to speak the word and work of God. Listen to me. Our feet must be ready to speak the word and the work of God. I didn't say our mouth. Amen. There's a reason why I'm using that, that kind of analogy for us to, to understand what I'm trying to say. I didn't say our normally our mouth is to speak, but our feet must speak the word and the work of God. How will your feet speak? How will your speak feet speak the word and the work of God? By simply adhering to the ministry of reconciliation that God has given to us. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18 to 19. The Bible says, All oh, this is from God who reconciled us back to Himself through Jesus Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sin against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. Another version says he has committed towards the ministry of reconciliation. 
Hallelujah. So our feet is to speak. Our feet is to walk and speak the word of God and the walk of God. Hallelujah. Our feet is to carry us to places where we can speak the word of God and the walk of God, the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. He has committed to us the ministry of reconciliation. That's why I tell everyone that cares to hear that everyone has a ministry. Praise God. Everyone has a ministry. No matter how young you are or how old you are, there is a ministry that God has committed into your hand. You might not be ordained as, as a pastor or as a prophet or as an evangelist. That doesn't matter to God. What matters to God is you are listening to what he has said. He said that he has reconciled you back to himself. So you have been given that ministry to reconcile others back to the kingdom of Jesus. Amen. The kingdom of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Feet fitted with the readiness to declare the gospel of peace. To declare the gospel of our Christ. To tell others that look at what the Lord has done. Look at his faithfulness. In spite of what you're going through, there is still a God that can take you out of that merry clay and put your feet upon the solid rock to stay. Being able to declare to others that come and see that man that has helped me. Come and see that man that has delivered me. Come and see that man that has given me life. Life. Let your feet be ready, fitted with the power to declare the gospel of peace. Hallelujah. This is you bearing the armor of God. This is you having that part, that peace, that equipment that you need in the armory that the Lord has given to you to be able to stand. Hallelujah. The fourth one, the shield of faith. I love this. Hallelujah. The shield of of faith that is the ability for you to trust god amen that is the ability for you to trust god there is no man that can say he loved the lord without having faith amen you cannot do it without faith faith is a key weapon in our armory faith is a key weapon in Christendom. Hallelujah. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Amen. Because anyone who comes to him must believe. Anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Another version says, who diligently, who earnestly seek him. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith is one of our greatest weapons that we have in our armory to be able to stand. The shield of faith. The shield of faith. Hallelujah. The shield of faith. The shield of, 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 a, of, of a Roman, of, of a Roman uh, soldier. We extend to cover everything about him. From the top to the hand. It covers. Amen. So when the, when the Roman soldier holds his shield, is so big that can cover him. So no matter how much dart or arrow that is thrown at him, that, that shield would cover it. That's what faith does to us. Amen. Faith covers us. Faith shields us. Hallelujah. So when the devil come with an arrow, faith shields us. Praise God. When, when the devil throws an arrow to us, faith shields us. That's what faith does. Amen. The shield of faith. Being able to have the full armor of God. Was he talking about that armor? Was he talking about the pieces of equipment that the Lord has made available for us to explore, to take advantage of, to leverage on, so that we are able to stand the shield of faith. Hallelujah. The shield of faith. The, the equipment that protects us. Hallelujah. The equipment that stands guard. So that when the devil throws an arrow, when the enemy plan, when the stand to fight against the elect of God, that shield blocks them. That faith we have in God, 
that resolve in our heart that we have a God that will neither leave nor forsake or stand God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He called those things that are not existing to be existing. Hallelujah. So you don't see those protections around you. You don't see the coverage over you, but you have faith that there is a protection around you and there is a coverage over you. You have faith in God. Hallelujah. That is what faith does. The shield of faith. Hallelujah. Number five, the ailment of salvation. The ailment of salvation. Hallelujah. That's another piece of equipment I love. Part of what God has put in the armory for us to explore and to use. The ailment of salvation. The ailment of salvation shows our ownership. Amen. It shows the ownership of God in our lives. Amen. It shows that God owns us. That's what the element of salvation does. It shows that God owns us. The element of a Roman soldier will protect every part of their head. Praise God. Which is about the most important part of a man's body. It will protect every part of their head. No one that what God did through David is still a miracle. It is something we ponder our mind over and over again. That how could David throw a sling with a stone in it and it went straight to the forehead of Goliath because the shield that Goliath had on him was to protect everything about his head. Hallelujah. So the shield, the, the element of salvation shows the ownership of God. Shows that God owns us. Amen. So wherever we appear, there is a shield on us that shows God ownership. Hallelujah. That shows God ownership. Our ailment is the mark of Christ. Hallelujah. Is the mark of Christ. So when Apostle Paul was speaking to the church in Ephesus that you should have the ailment of salvation, it shows that give your life to God. Let God own you. So that whenever you are seen in the spirit, there will be an ownership put on you. There will be a sign put on you. There will be a sign put on you. Hallelujah. There will be an emblem on you. Praise God. There will be an emblem on you. So Apostle Paul could declare in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 17, from now on, let no man trouble me because I bear the mark of Christ, which is the blood of Jesus, which is our salvation. Hallelujah. From now on, let no man trouble me because I bear the mark of Christ on me. Let no man trouble me because I bear the mark of Christ. Amen. The last one, the sword of the spirit. Praise God. This is another piece of equipment that I like in our armory. The sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit. That was what Jesus used when he was confronted by the devil. The Bible said devil keep, kept coming the first time and Jesus spoke back the word to him. It came the second time. Jesus spoke back the word to him. It came the third time and Jesus rebuked him. And in his rebuke, it is still the word of God. Hallelujah. The sword of the spirit is the word of God. The sword of the spirit is that offensive weapon that we have to speak against the devil. Is that offensive weapon we have to speak down on every imagination and thought of the enemy against our life. The sword of the spirit is the word of God that we hold in our mouth to declare the power of God. Is the word that will speak that get established here on earth. Hallelujah. The words that you speak will be established when you speak the words of God. The sword of the spirit. Having done all to stand. The Bible says stand therefore. Having done all to stand. Stand therefore. Having done all to stand. Stand therefore. Hallelujah. Having done all to stand. Stand therefore. There's a scripture that's coming to my spirit in Hebrew chapter 4. And I want to read that scripture to us. Hallelujah. Hebrew chapter 4 and in verse 12. Listen to, listen to what scripture says here. Hebrew chapter 4 and verse 12. The Bible says, I'll read from verse 11. Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest, least 
anyone fall according to the same example as disobedient? Listen to verse 12. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joint and marrow, and is a discerner of the thought and intent of the heart, the word of God. Hallelujah. That is about one of the best pieces of equipment you have in your armory. The word of God. That is why it is important for you to know those words. Jesus knew the word. So he could tell the devil part time. Everything that the devil brought to him. The Bible said Jesus was able to confront the devil with the word. The sword of the spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus for everyone under the sound of my voice today that the Lord will give you that ability to own the word of God, to, to, to dwell in the word of God, to possess the word of God so that when the devil bring up that situation, when the devil bring that sickness or disease, when the devil bring back those situations that will weigh your spirit down, that the word of God in you will speak against the wiles of the enemy, that the words of God will speak against the plans and intent and torch of the devil in the name of Jesus, the word of God, peace in our armory, peace in our armory, things that the Lord has given to us so that we can stand, amen, haven't done all to stand. The Bible says, stand therefore. Haven't done all to stand. Stand therefore in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for everyone today that can hear me, that have been here, that have been listening to me concerning this armor, concerning this full armor that the Lord has given to us, concerning these equipments that the Lord has given to us to use in the spirit realm so that we can be fortified, that having done all this, we should stand therefore, Lord, Lord, I pray, oh God, that this armory, this armory that you've given to us, this armory, Lord, will not be empty in the name of Jesus. They will remain full. They will remain full. They will remain full in the name of Jesus. The belt of truth, hallelujah, the breastplate of righteousness, our feet fitted with the readiness to declare the gospel of peace, hallelujah, the shield of faith amen the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit that this equipment in our armory will remain full in the name of jesus so that having done all to stand we will stand therefore in the name of jesus we will stand equipped we will stand fortified we will stand fortified. La pakos kebrenelila. We will stand fortified. Ikalo dominge virando stebralosh. We will stand fortified. Malikos kebridando sayele kotima. We will stand fortified. Aloke virenda staklosh kepeno. We will stand fortified. Akalo vigreda nonofilash. We will stand fortified in the name of Jesus. On every to be break in by the devil, unable to be break in by the work of wickedness in the name of Jesus, we will stand fortified through the armor that the Lord has given to us in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for grace. I pray for grace, oh God, grace to be able to stand, grace to be able to stand, bearing the full armor of God, bearing truth in our vessel, bearing the blessed plate of righteousness with our feet fitted with the readiness to declare the gospel of peace. Having the shield of faith around us with the helmet of salvation on our head, oh God, with the sword of the spirit in our hand, that we are readily able to declare the word of God in truth in the name of Jesus, that you will help us to be become watchmen, that you will help us to become workmen that are thoroughly furnished by your word so that we can declare the 
word of truth without shame or fear in the name of Jesus, without shame or fear, Lord. This is what we are asking for, that without shame or fear, we will readily declare the word of truth in the name of Jesus. Lord, for everyone that's listened to me, that's heard these words, oh God, that's listened to this teaching, even from the beginning, Father, I pray, oh God, that their armory be full, be full with these pieces of equipment, oh God, so that we are able to stand, having done all to stand, that we will stand and be strong, because we know, oh Lord, that is only the strong that survives. In this world where there are so many lies, in this world where there are so many confusion, we need the truth, oh God, the truth that comes from your word, the truth that comes from the word of God. Help us to be thoroughly furnished as workmen that needs not to be ashamed, but rightfully dividing the word of truth in the name of Jesus. Help us to be zealous, O oh God, in study of your word. Help us, O oh God, to flame ourselves up, to find the flame in our vessels so that we will be willing, we will yearn for your word, we will yearn for your work in the name of Jesus. Help us, Father. Help everyone that is listening to me right now. Furnish their lives. Fill them with your spirit, O oh God. Let your power extend to their lives. To clean them from inside out. Bless them, O oh God, with this equipment, Lord. So that we can stand in the days of evil so that we can stand when the devil confronts us so that we can stand when the arrow of wickedness is thrown at us in the name of jesus thank you father thank you father thank you father thank you father lord i commit every family here into your hands everyone listening to me right now father i pray as you're instructing me right now oh god that they be fortified by you they be surrounded by like with a shield with the coverage of god with angels on guard watching over them in the name of jesus the plans of the enemy over their lives will not stand. The plans of the enemy over their families will not stand. The plans of the enemy over their household will not stand. It is what you've said that will come to pass. Everything that the devil intend for them, I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Because they have a mark on them. They bear the mark of Christ. No man will trouble them. No woman will trouble them. No devil will trouble them because they bear the mark of Christ on them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You bear the mark of Christ. No one can trouble you in the name of of Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Our God is faithful. Our God is a faithful God. And I believe that the Lord has blessed you today. I believe that the Lord has changed the course of events in your life. Those things that you do not like, those things you do not wish for, they are all gone. God is replacing to you those things that you not want is being removed and is being replaced by the things that you want to see. In the name of Jesus, see that the Lord is good. See that the Lord is good. From today, everything you see will make you declare those words. See that the Lord is good. You will see and you will declare with your mouth that the Lord is good. In the name of Jesus. Amen.
Glory to God. Hallelujah. I hope you've been blessed by God today. I hope that the Lord has touched you. I hope you've learned something from the Lord. Amen. The armor. I hope you know what every piece of armor in your armory, every piece of equipment that the Lord has put in there represents. If you do not know, go back and listen again. Amen. If you join in the middle of the teaching, please go back and do a replay. It is very, very important that you know what each equipment in your armory represents. Hallelujah. You must know what the belt of truth is. You must know what the breastplate of righteousness is. You must know that your feet is fitted with the readiness to declare the gospel of peace. You must know that there is a shield of faith that you must put on that covers you. Hallelujah. There's the helmet of salvation that covers your head that shows the ownership of God on you. Praise the Lord. And you must know that there is the sword of the spirit, that offensive weapon that you have that you can quench the jerry fiery fullness of the devil hallelujah the source of the spirit please if you join in the middle i will encourage you to go back and do a replay and please don't hold this to yourself i want you to share it with people go ahead and send this link to someone make sure you send it to someone people need to hear this hallelujah and if you're hearing this the first part was taught last week amen you need to go back to the first part amen only the strong only the strong is the first part to this one praise god only the strong survive if you're not strong you cannot survive someone says if you're not sure of your salvation don't even play with the devil praise god <laughs> hallelujah if you're not sure of your salvation don't play with the devil that's it don't play with the devil. You need to be sure of your salvation so you can boldly declare the word of God. Amen. Remember what this what happened to the sons of Skivers. They went trying to cast out the devil. And they were saying, in the name of Jesus, which Paul preached, come out. And the devil turned back at them and said, who are you? I do not recognize who you are. I know Paul. I know Jesus. But who are you? If you don't. If you don't and you're not sure of your salvation, they will play with the devil. Just leave the devil alone. Don't play with him. Amen. But if you're sure of your salvation, if you know that you have that element of salvation on you, if you know that you are recognized by God and you know that you stand before your God, whom you are and whose you are, you can declare that word unto the devil and say, devil, listen, I have the ownership of God. I belong to God. So there is nothing you can do about it. Just as Jesus described and declared to the devil. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I want to thank everyone. I want to thank you for being here today. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please, I will encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. The Lord bless you for doing that in the name of Jesus. Please give us that like button. Press the like button and don't forget to share with your friends and loved ones. I'm going to see you on Tuesday. Tuesday is our prayer meeting. Tuesday's travelation. Don't forget, 8 p.m. we are here praying. Bring in that request in your heart. Invite that man, that woman that need God's intervention in their lives and God is going to show up on Tuesday. 8 p.m. GMT plus one. That's 8 p.m. UK time and Ireland time. We'll be here praying. Hallelujah. 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you're in that time zone, we'll be here praying. Don't forget to invite others. I love you. Don't forget, I'm always praying for you. The Lord bless and keep you and make his face shine on you. In the name of Jesus, you are owned by God. You are the Lord's. Amen. And the Lord will be with you even as you go through next week. In the name of Jesus, there is no weapon formed against you that shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against you in judgment is condemned. In the name of Jesus. You will find grace in the sight of God and in the sight of men. In the name of Jesus. Everything that your hands find to do will prosper in Jesus' name. God bless you. I love you and I'm going to see you on Tuesday. Shalom. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen and amen and amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hana,
lifted high. Let's say, Jesus, you can be tested.
Oh, 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 oh,